Now available on Blu-ray from Ignite Films is a new 4K restoration of William Cameron Menzies' 1953 sci-fi classic, Invaders from Mars. Have you heard of Invaders from Mars? Invaders from Mars was remade in 1986 by Toby Hooper for Canon Films, but we're not talking about that one. We're talking about the original. I first saw this as a videotape rental, VHS release on the Nostalgia Merchant label, and it looked... It looked like anything did on VHS back then, you know, kind of dark, kind of muddy, but fine. And this is like night and day. This looks so good. I watched the 4K version of this on a nice sizable 4K TV and um, just so much sharpness, so much detail. You can see the grain, you can see the colors, just, just, just gorgeous. So what is this film about? Little boy, little 1950s kid, lives kind of rural, his Bedroom window looks out onto like a, a hill with this winding path and a picket fence, or not a picket fence, what do you call it? A, a fence, one of them fences, and over the hill. Here's a commotion, lightning or something some night. He looks out, he sees a spaceship seemingly land behind that hill, asks his father to go investigate. Father is like, sure, whatever, something landed. Okay, I'll go look. To make you happy, I'll go look. He goes and looks, and then when he comes back, he's not quite the same. That's basically the setup for the story. It's this little boy trying to convince the authorities or the adults in his town that aliens are there and they're doing something to people and nobody wants to believe him. So that's the basic idea. It's a wonderful 50s paranoia, you know, Body Snatchers-esque kind of paranoia thing uh, before, uh, released before Body Snatchers actually, as a matter of fact, and Nightmare, very much from a kid point of view, very much plays out like a nightmare, very surreal. I learned in the extras on this that Menzies was a production designer first and foremost, so the film has a really, really cool look. Really, really dynamically composed shots, really interesting sets. There's a set in like a science lab that just feels really sparse and strange and dreamlike. And uh, it's just a, it's a fun movie. You know, you eventually see the aliens, you see the alien, um, the iconic aliens that are featured on the cover of this. And, you know, 4K doesn't necessarily do them any favors in terms of the, the costumes they're wearing and all that kind of stuff, but I don't particularly care. This film was made in uh, 1953. It's a product of its time. It wasn't a huge budget film. It's fine. It is what it is. I go with the story, and the story's really cool, and it's got a great sense of forward motion and paranoia and dread and takes you back to being a kid and the grown-ups kind of being like, yeah, get away from me, kid, you bother me, that kind of stuff. And uh, just really well done. So uh, if you've seen the movie, you know what it is. If you've never seen the movie, you really should. It's a sci-fi classic of the 50s, even if it's not talked about as much as it should be. And let's get into the extra. So it's uh, HD, 4K, 4x3, because that's how it was shot. And um, interestingly enough, the, um, the menus on these look like Arrow video menus. So I don't know if this was originally intended to be an Arrow Video release, or if the people at Arrow Video helped work on this release, but it's like the same font, the same layout, the same, you click on a section of the bonus features and something pops up that tells you what it is before you hit play. That was kind of interesting to me. Um, it's restored from the original camera negative. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna, pardon me while I scroll up in my notes here. Nobody knows that, right, great. Uh, special features. William Cameron, Cam, William Cameron Menzies, The Architect of Dreams. It's an interview with his biographer and his granddaughter. That's 16 minutes. Uh, Jimmy Hunt Saves the Planet. That is an interview with the now adult, now senior citizen who played uh, the little boy in the film. That's uh, 10 minutes. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm like leaning around my camera to see my notes here. Uh, Terror from Above, Joe Dante, John Landis, and other filmmakers, as well as restorationist Scott McQueen discussed the film for this 22 minutes. That's very cool because it's a mix of like recollections of these guys of seeing the movie as a kid with detailing what's great about it and how it was made and behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. You get Restoring the Invasion, that's seven minutes. That's really cool. That just gets into the nitty gritty of here's the material we had to work with. Here's what we did to make it look as good as it does. I'm a, I'm a sucker for any kind of restoration uh, featurette or documentary. We have a TCM Festival intro by John Sales. That is seven minutes. We have a European Observatory sequence. This is interesting. So the film was done and it was sold to a European distributor. And a full year later, that distributor is like, you know, we'd like some changes made to this film. We'd like a little something more. We'd like a little more explanation. We want it to be a little bit longer, and we want uh, an ending that's a bit more concrete and not fantastical. Not gonna tell you what the ending is. 
and they reassembled a very small number of the cast. I think it was it was Jimmy Hunt and the two adults that play the people, like the scientists who believe him in the film. Jimmy Hunt looks older. I think he's got braces in these shots that he didn't have the first time. And it's just a very simple thing in an observatory. But they said they shot like eight minutes of new footage for the film, and it's all here. So you've got the uh, observatory sequence, and you've got the alternate ending done for Europe, sorry. And then you've got the uh, two-minute theatrical trailer original, and you've got, uh, was there more than that? I think there's also a trailer that is a, a newer trailer done for this re-release. So um, as, you know, you saw the cover there, but that's, uh, uh, there we are. There's the focus. I'm still figuring out how this new camera works. The disc, you know, all that. Open it up. You get uh, a booklet and the disc. And the booklet is, is uh, you can't really tell from, from here, but the, the booklet is, uh, can you tell from there? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sizable. Pretty hefty booklet. A lot of words, a lot of pictures. Uh, this is a really nice release. This is a really nice release of a great movie. Um, I, I said earlier in a different video, I, I thought I had not seen a copy of this since that old Nostalgia Merchant tape. That's not true. I did have a DVD copy of this too, which might have also had the European version, but it didn't look anywhere near as good as this. So I highly recommend this new Ignite Films release in 4K or Blu-ray or DVD or whatever format suits your home setup of Invaders from Mars.